Here's an integral that I received in my email today that looks kind of wild at first sight, but you'll be surprised at how easy it is to solve this, and the ease comes from the uh, lower and upper limits of integration. Now, if I call this integral i, then I can make use of a property of the definite integral that if I'm integrating from a to b some function f of x with respect to x, then the integral is equal to the integral from a to b of the same function with x being replaced by a plus b minus x. And I've proved this property of the definite integral, this very handy property in a separate video, link in the description below. So here the uh, upper and lower limits add up to 6. So I'm now going from the x world to the 6 minus x world. So let me just move all of this um, down here. Paste. So if this is my integral right now, and let me just get rid of these. Uh, anyway, so going from the x world to the 6 minus x world gives me the integral from 2 to 4 of the square root of the natural log of 9 minus 6 plus x yeah divided by the square root of the natural log of again 9 minus 6 plus x and plus the square root of the natural log of 3 plus 6 minus x. Okay, cool. So how does this actually simplify out things? Let's check. So let me just pick a different color to highlight stuff. So I have finally the integral from 2 to 4 of the square root. Now here I have 9 minus 6, 3 plus x divided by, again, the natural log 3 plus x in the square root plus the uh, natural log of 9 minus x, correct? So this integral in blue and the integral in white represent exactly the same integral. So I can just add them up, right? I can just add them up and that will give me 2 times i. But notice one thing uh, very useful here. Notice one thing that the denominators in both cases are exactly the same. So you have a common denominator if you combine the integrals. and you can also, because of the common denominator, you have something useful in the numerator as well. So let's write this as 2 times i equals the integral from 2 to 4, common denominator, natural log 3 plus x, square root, plus again, natural log 9 minus x, square, sorry about that, um, the natural logs in the square root 2. And up here I had natural log of 9 minus x in the square root, plus this term here, the square root of the natural log of 3 plus x. And things cancel out quite nicely here. So you're just integrating 1 from 2 to 4. So, And if you divide by 2 on both sides, this will imply that the integral i equals 1. So yeah, that was actually pretty simple. So I hope you liked the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.